MACD Ford Edge and we're going to go and go over how to remove and reinstall the electric fan assembly in the front of your Ford Edge on this uh, particular model 2011. Not very difficult at all, doesn't take very long so if you have a fan that's went bad, this video will show you how to remove and reinstall your fan. This is a Mercy Girl production. Okay, folks. Now, if we look down here, I have to not unclip that because that is connected to the fan and goes to the motor. Okay, so, but what I do have is down in here, I don't know if you can see it very well, but right down in here, I have this part right here that I will have to unconnect and disconnect that and then the darn bolt that I want to get at is right here by my finger okay that's the first one that you got to remove that holds the fan in and then the second one which is far easier to get to is right down in here and if you can see it, it's right by my finger right here. Can't really quite light it up very good, but it's right down there by my finger. All the way down in here. So it's a little bit difficult to get to. Uh, you got a little room up underneath between where you could reach. I can reach it down in here. And right down there you can see that bolt. Okay, that will release the fan and then I can pull it out. Uh, got the wiring harness here which is attached to part of the sh fan shroud it looks like right here anyway it's attached right here so do I take out the air cleaner to give myself more room is the question and my answer is going to be yes so I'm going to go ahead and work on removing the fan sh the uh, air cleaner first and then I'll work on getting the fan out one thing I did is I did buy this and I have used this before and done a few uh, things with it when I used it for the shocks. So I'm going to try it down here and see what we got. And it works like a champ. Boy, that was sweet. It goes right in here, slides up underneath of it. And then you just clamp up on it and it pops it right out. It works great. So I do recommend getting this to make your life a lot easier that pop that loose so we can have that out of the way then I got a tie one over here with a zip tie we'll see if it gets in our way and then we just undo the uh, radiator fan and again that plug was right in here and there's a tab that you push on it right here undo the radiator fan get that out of the way and the next thing I'm gonna have to do is we're getting into this is now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna disconnect the battery at least the negative on this to get us ahead of the game when we start doing some more electrical should have done that earlier but we're getting to it right now because I'm gonna be getting down to the fan here pretty soon good how are you oh always getting in trouble Hey, I tried looking on YouTube to see that tire changing machine thing that you put on there with me. That you didn't find it? I didn't find it. Is it under tire changer? No, no, it's under Mac T Ford Edge. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, I'll, I'll write it down for you. I can uh, remember. I, there's quite a few uh, of you. <laughs> You're a notable uh, person. Wow. Uh, internet star? I don't even know. <laughs> 
<laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> How do you like my shop light? Did you get a new one? That works. Decided to get a full hood one. Yep. That thing is sweet. I love it. And that, you know, and it works really good because you work it on side wheels and you can just stick it right to the car. You don't have to use the hooks nah. with the magnets. Yeah, that's, I just, you know, I know you guys lend, lend lights out, but I can just never, how do you say it, those are small, yeah. they don't give much light. Right. So. Yeah, that four footer is a really nice one. But this tool here I bought too, this oh. pops everything off in a heartbeat. I love that thing. It's made easy. Look at this, what I got to do though. I got to take this fan out to get to the alternator. Oh yeah. And then later I'm gonna have to raise it up, take the wheel well out, mm -hmm. and then remove the wheel well, the tire course goes, then I can get access to the, the, the alternator. Well you gotta take that coolant tank out? The uh, tank? They're not saying because I think the alternator comes out this way. I don't think there's enough room down, so you gotta finagle to remove this. I, I'm gonna when I get down and get it up and get it out, I'll have a better view. But I have to take the air cleaner off. That was the only way to get it. work around it. Amazing. So uh, yeah, it's a pain. So anyway, folks, we're gonna go ahead and loosen up the battery terminal here get that off and make sure that uh, we got that taken care of so get this loosened up remove the uh, negative terminal and remember I'm replacing this battery so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all the terminals right now that way I'm ahead of this game Okay, I don't need to remove the resonator on this, so we do have everything taken out here. We got everything released. Fan control motor is, of course, released. Contacts are in good shape. So we're going to go ahead and start working on removing the fan. And there's two bolts here, and they're probably eights. Yes, they are eights. So we're going to go ahead. So you just pull the wiring harness out of the way and then you go ahead and just start taking this thing off. Once you get her loose, take this bolt out. Don't want to lose it. And then we can see it's starting to get loose up here. We just pull it right up. So I think we're going to be getting there with that. Now I got to go down here. Now I got to go down in here and of course get the next bolt off and it's down low. So we're going to get a shot of that if we can. Okay folks, now we got to get down in here right back in there and get the bolt. So I'll go ahead and shed some light on the subject. Hopefully enough, so you can see what we're doing. But you can see that bolt right down there. That's the bolt right at the end of my finger get there. I'm going to get the ratchet in there. We're going to see if we can't get that undone. And then see what we can do about getting this fan out. Because I think that is what's holding it on. And then we can wiggle this fan out of here. And get this hose somehow out of the way to pull this fan out. So I don't want to take and have to drain radiator fluid. I really don't want to do that, so we're going to go ahead and get working on that. Alrighty, not exactly the most convenient location to be in down here, but the extension's too long. This is an 8mm. Not much room either. 
not much room at all. So this this hose is definitely in the way. Uh, I think I'm gonna end up finding out that I'm gonna have to take and remove that hose. So it's definitely not working out. don't see how you can do it. But you got another hard hose down here that's in the way for your coolant return. Alright, got it. Finally. Finally got it. Boy. That's a mama. That is a mama. Ha 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 ha, got it. That was Let's see what we can do here as far as pulling this fan out. folks as you can see I got the air box out now I have got the radiator fan out okay so I took this and I got this out and here's the radiator fans assembly and as you can see got it all out everything is in good uh, heck might as well give you all this uh, if you ever wondered what the part number and everything else is, uh, this is it right here. All the information you might want to know. But connectors on the motors and everything. Got it out. The best thing about it is, is I got it out and I did not touch the radiator. Bill. 
There we go. Bring it in there. Like it all went in pretty good. If I remember right, that one right here. Cowboy on this, do we? There we go. Now we want to get this one. This one, if I remember right, was a wee bit more on the difficult side. Solid. Now, now we got to put our wiring harness back in. But first, we got to undo our makeshift holder. Get that out of the way. Remember to get that out of there. So, radiator hose is all set, and of course, we got to put these back in. And those just push right back into place. Pretty simple. The other one right here. Got that one. And then, of course, we take our fan connector and the click. Then we know it's in good. Okay, now we got to take and we got to put our air box back in. We now have the radiator back in. Everything's hooked up there. 
it's nice and solid we don't have any movement it's all good so taking the radiator out ain't that big of a deal either unless it's your first time then of course you do it but right now we're gonna go ahead and put this air box back in first things first you clean it all out right then you get everything lined up down below hook it out all up there seats right down in there perfectly then we get our bolts back in here we're going to tighten those back up and again those are eight millimeters seems to be a pretty common uh, size anyway Don't go full grill on these things, it's just plastic. But we get her snug down. And then we gotta put an air filter in. In case you didn't know what it is, it is an AEM air filter. That's my choice, dry filter. And then of course, when you go to put it in, sometimes it's hard. So I know sometimes people have a hard time with these air filters, but keep in mind there's little three little slots right here. You line those three tabs up to that, okay? And sometimes you got to use brute force. You got to push it in there. And when you got a new air filter, and as long as you got it seated, you just take and you shove it down as hard as you can hold it down and then with brute force you can get it back in there where you need it to be there you go takes a little bit of an effort but you can get her in there so then we just take and line everything back up here get everything lined up with our resonator and then of course we use an eight millimeter to tighten that back up. And that won't take much at all. So we just tighten her back up. Pretty simple. Sometimes pretty loose. I must have really got it loose when I took it off. There we go. We got some tension now. So, get her nice and snug. So, that's it folks. We have now gotten our fan in. We have gotten our new battery in. We've gotten the air filter in. We have gotten everything in here that we needed to get done. But we have something to do yet. What is that? What do we have to do? Oh yeah, we gotta get rid of our wire. We don't want this wire up here, do we? So we'll get rid of this wire that we used on our... Used on our Ford Edge to hold it in place, I guess. So we got rid of that air cleaner air box everything's in here the new battery everything is almost ready to go thank you for watching and remember to like my videos and subscribe to mac t this is a mercy girl production